Hello, welcome back to my channel. Now, today, because over the last few months I have gained lots of new people watching my channel, so I thought it would be nice to do kind of a get to know me video, and I was actually tagged to do the get to know me tag by the beautiful Amy Lodge, who I will link her channel either here or at the end of the video, to do it. So I was like, why not use this opportunity to do it? So firstly, I just wanted to say thank you so much if you would subscribe, if you have subscribed to my channel, um, in the last like six months, thank you so much. You have no idea how much it means to me and how happy it makes me seeing those numbers go up. Like, it's crazy. I absolutely love it. So I just wanted to say thank you so much. I really hope you're enjoying the vlogs and all of the content that I'm putting out at the moment. Um, if you have any recommendations as to videos that you would like me to do or anything like that, please do leave them in the comments below. I really do appreciate the help because sometimes I'm a bit like, I have no idea what to film. So any help is good help. So I was going to get straight into it I think. I think it's just nice for you guys to get to know me a little bit better, better rather than some of you just knowing me as Chesnoy Gaming sister or some random girl who does weekly vlogs. So there's 16 questions. They're quite random questions but I will just answer them and you will know me a lot better hopefully by the end of this video. <laughs> Question one, what's your favourite music artist like music slash artist slash song. I don't really have a favourite artist or like genre or anything like that. I kind of listen to a lot but with my top ones at the moment are Little Mix. I'm obsessed with Little Mix at the moment. I never was really a big fan of them to begin with and then I started listening to their albums and their most recent songs I've really really been enjoying and they're very much like girl power sort of thing which I've really been liking. I would probably say pop is probably my main sort of music or musical theatre. Musical theatre is my thing. I absolutely love musical theatre. It's what I always wanted to do. I've got a diploma in musical theatre, so that is kind of my background as such. So yeah, pop, musical theatre, and of course, Disney. What girl doesn't like Disney? Although there are probably quite a few girls out there that don't like Disney, but I am a Disney girl myself. Two, what is your star sign? I am a Leo, although I do know that they have recently just changed the star signs, so I don't know what I am now, but in my heart, I will forever be a Leo. Three, what is your dream car slash what car are you currently driving? I'm currently driving a Mini One convertible, which was my dream car. I was very lucky enough to get my dream car and I absolutely love her, although she does desperately need a wash right now. And I'm saying her because her name is Marie. Leave in the comments below what you have named your car if you name your car, because I name every single one of my cars. This is currently called Marie. My dream car, right this second, right now, is a Range Rover. But it tends to change monthly, six monthly, as to what my dream car is. So I can't say it's like my forever dream car, but my current dream car is a Range Rover. Number four, what is your favourite physical attribute about yourself? I am a big fan of my eyelashes. <laughs> is that a physical attribute? It must be. My eyelashes are probably my favourite thing about me. Um, and my nails, I do quite like my nails as well. When they're nice and long and, and like strong like they are right now. But my main attribute that I really like is my eyelashes. Number five. What you could only choose... Oh. What it I'm mixing two questions. Number five. <laughs> what if you could only choose one of these products to wear for the rest of your life? Would it be mascara or lipstick? Mascara, hands down, because it's the thing that makes the biggest difference to my face. So I could live without lipstick. As much as I love lipstick, I could not live without mascara. Number six, what kind of shoe defines you? What do I wear most? Probably like really simple, plain black ankle boots that just have that little bit of quirkiness to them. So my current ones are just completely plain, like black ankle Chelsea boots, but the back of them is more like like snake skinny design, it's still black but it's like textured at the back and then it's got a gold buckle around it. So why I probably say that because if it defines me, I'm quite a boring person but I have my quirky side. That's how I would describe it. Number seven, how tall are you? I'm five foot four, so average height but when I was at school I was quite a midget. Uh, number eight, what is your Netflix show? I have many Netflix shows. If you have watched the vlogs or followed me on Twitter or anything for a long time you will know that. I am obsessed with Netflix. I'm currently filling a gap and watching, um, you're going to be like, really? I'm watching Lewis, which is a like British BBC, I think it was BBC, murder mystery TV show. It is proper British, like it's such an English TV show. But I love it, it's very, the way to describe it, it's very Midsummer Murders, if you haven't heard of Lewis, it's very Midsummer Murders. So yeah, I'm currently watching that. 
while I wait for Pretty Little Liars to come back, which is the 18th of April, I do believe. I've got many things on my list, like I really want to watch The OA. That's supposed to be amazing, I haven't watched that yet. Um, what else do I really want to watch? I don't know. Oh, and does anyone know when season two of Stranger Things is coming out? Is that, that's a thing, right? I do know they're remaking it, like making a second season, but I don't know when they're doing it. But I'm also waiting for that. What is your most repeated phrase or word? Probably, um, <laughs> you don't have no idea how many ums I edit out of the vlogs in these videos, it's crazy. I don't really think I have a common phrase or word that I use. I really don't think I do. Let me know if you've noticed one, if you watch like the vlogs and things, let me know if you notice anything that I say a lot, apart from um and like, because I know I say those all the time. Number 10, what religion are you? I was brought up Christian, but I now don't really follow any religion, to be completely honest. I have no opinion on it, really. Number 11, do you prefer full on makeup, no makeup, or everyday makeup? Well, full on makeup would be some people's everyday makeup, wouldn't it? Wouldn't it now? But my full on makeup is completely different to my everyday makeup. I this is kind of my favourite look at the minute, so a little bit of eyeshadow, some nice thick mascara, nice big lashes, a little bit of bronzer, like quite simple, so I'd probably say everyday makeup I prefer. How many tattoos do you have, if any, or are you planning on getting any in the future? I have no tattoos, however I have a very long list of tattoos that I would like, but I will probably never get. I have a needle phobia, so just the thought of like a needle going near me kind of makes me kind of a bit... No. So it's probably never going to happen, but there's quite a few that I would quite like. There's one that I would like on my left side, like right under my bra line, so on my rib, which is a quote from a poem that was said at my granddad's funeral, which I would quite like there. I would also quite like one behind my ear. I've seen a few, but the one that I would really quite like is a Peter Pan one and it's got like Peter Pan and Wendy and then her two brothers and stuff like flying up. That's really cute. There's so many that I want. I would also like quite like a semicolon somewhere, whether it be on my wrist or something like that or my ankle, but I really love the meaning behind behind um, a semicolon. Number 13, what is your favourite holiday? My favourite holiday that comes straight to my mind would be my childhood holidays in Lowestoft. If you watch the vlog, I'm going to mention the vlogs a lot, I'm really sorry. If you watch the vlog in October time, I think, um, I took Daniel to Lowestoft to kind of reminisce of my childhood holidays there. They're the ones that stick mainly in my mind. Unless you mean like holiday in the American way where it's like Christmas, that sort of thing. Oh, uh, Christmas, if that's what you mean. 14, if you could go anywhere in the world, where would it be? Right now, I would really like to go to Bora Bora. That's somewhere that's been on my wish list for a very long time, and it will probably remain on my wish list for a very long time. But Bora Bora has always been somewhere that I've wanted to go. Also Bali, I really want to go to Bali. Anywhere in Thailand, I really want to go. I just want to travel, and I just can't afford to do it. Or have the time to do it, unless I quit my job, which... I can't afford to do. <laughs> 15. Have you ever been on a cruise? No, and a cruise doesn't really appeal to me because I get seasick. And 16. Last question. If you could be any Disney character, who would you be and why? Characteristically, Sleeping Beauty, because I sleep a lot and I really like to sleep. But if I could be any Disney character, it would probably be Belle from Beauty and the Beast, just because I love how strong-willed she is and confident she is in herself and she's just completely happy with her own little world. So probably I would like to be Belle, but characteristically, I'm probably a mix of Sleeping Beauty and Piglet, because I definitely have Piglet's side of anxiety. <laughs> Those are all the questions. If you have any other questions for me, please do leave them in the comments below. I'd love to do a QA and a um, of questions that you guys have asked. I don't think I've ever done that before. I've only ever done one with my brother. I've never done one just by myself. So yeah, if you have any questions for me, let me know down in the comments below. Give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and should I tag people to do this? Let's tag some people to do this. Actually, do you know what? I'm not going to tag anyone in particular. I'm just going to tag all of you. If you have a YouTube channel or you have a blog or whatever, do this tag and let me know that you have done it. I love watching this sort of thing, mainly because I'm nosy and I really like to know how other people answered the questions. Don't forget to subscribe if you are new and I will see you next week. Bye! -bye.